Hello everyone. In this video, I will be talking about the Shocom KD8900D mini car radio and how to use the repeater function. In order to use the repeater function, you need a controller. This one right here is the Shocom SR629, a double function repeater controller. And it will be the one we're using this video. So just a while ago, one of our customers bought both of these products who has a little bit of trouble of cabling. Right now, I will try to explain how they work together. First of all, you need a repeater cable, which is the one I'm holding. Plug the cable into the microphone jack on the back side of the car radio. On the other end of the cable, plug it into radio input A on a repeater controller. We'll do a little testing here with a walkie-talkie to act as another transmitter. The one that I'm using is UV5R with a frequency of 145. Plug it into the radio input B of the repeater controller. On the right side, we are using 145 VHF and having the other side as 430.025 UHF. For this, can make it a crossband repeater. But to achieve the crossband function, you have to put the switch on option 2 on the repeater controller which makes it work both ways, as A could be both the transmitter and the receiver which so as to B. When the green light turns on, it means the repeater has received signal from either of point A or point B. The red light will then come up as the repeater sends signal to the opposite point. Ah, 